So hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. And the footage you saw earlier, I just visited my friend. As you know, um, I have a friend who lives very far away, like a uh, one to two hour of the like two wheeler drive from my home. And I know he comes like every day to my city, like he travels every day, well, half to two hours an hour for his college. But he his time and my time can't sync up, so I can't meet him. He does his college or comes very like often because he lives very far away. And uh, we were in school together. He uh, of course you know school is uh, like very important and you have to come to, uh, like every day but college is not that important uh, you can just uh, study at home and give the exam but he comes every often but when he has time he comes me but i just like because it's very like very cold out here in western india and i just love drives i love just uh, like like uh, long drives are, and especially when i have fuel <laughs> So I picked up my friend Gotez and he basically has a farm. He has a business of pickles and deserts and also he has like a small farm of goats, cows and everything. So we just did some fun things over there and came back again. And if you ask me what and I usually read all of your comments, everybody told me to go for a Pixel XL. So the thing is, I'm not buying the phone with my own money. I have to like, uh, I have to pull up a deal for my uncle. And if the deal pulls up, he will buy me any phone I want from a store, not from like online thing. So I'm not going for a OnePlus 3, that which is the phone is only online. I guess you can't get it anywhere around. And I am actually betting for the OnePlus 3T, which is a lot faster phone. It's like Android score of 161. It's still like a lot slower than the iPhone 7, but the fastest Android phone available. And when it comes out, I will buy with my own money. That's uh, not an issue. But I guess I will be picking up something around 30,000 today. I don't know what I should go for. Uh, S6 Edge. It's uh, like similar phone, phone to the S7 Edge. I have a bit of a cold still. Um, so I can't open my eyes fully but I wished I go, could go for a Note 5 but Note 5 is still 42,000 which is a totally out of budget and if you ask me about that iPhone 7 I don't know whether I can pull off that huge amount it's like a 72,000 rupees phone 7 plus 72,000 I don't like remember I like buying this S7 Edge was the greatest thing for me oh shit uh, 57,000 is a lot for a phone and 72,000 it's just uh, like whole shit of money it's around 1 lakh you can buy whole world in, within that price so I'm just thinking and if I ask like for a DSLR many of you guys uh, told me to go with the Canon 1300A which is also a good thing so if I get my money around December I will buy that thing and also the cool thing uh, I bought this thing it's not for my family my mom bought this for my YouTube thing it's around uh, 16,000 rupees this is a Canon P530 like the P range which zooms a lot I can easily see things on the moon and that thing I bought it on perfect uh, on afternoon of 25th December and I guess I will be buying another camera on 25th of December which is a great thing it will be its first anniversary and first replacement and if you ask me many of you told you to go for a pixel xl and i know i'm like everybody told me you're like a rom guy you should go for it it's not about the rom i want to make phones and i like oss a lot i like softwares a lot and i've never like got in touch with a ios device my sister has a, a 5s now she recently upgraded to the 7 so i have like used a 7 in my hands a good phone not much of things but 7 plus it's a very good thing like uh, it has portrait mode it's much faster than the 7 like it's a gradual improvement because it's a 3 gb ram and a bit of a faster clock than 7 and gradually it's a very good phone but if you like look around a weird moment yeah, in my last vlog like i don't know it does it from a nougat and there was an option like say like shape correction off I turn it off but still if it tracks my motion it's really weird I think there's like a uh, like movement tracker where you can just tilt it and it can track
this is the coolest watch face ever i have not changed it since i bought it uh, this is the venom and i like change it to the greenish tint and it looks very cool still i don't have any like no got update uh, rigidness on my moto 360 i don't know it's like the most bought watch whoever like Huawei watch is also a nice watch but no one has like bought it or anything much or g watch urban um, like majority of people don't know even about it and still i don't know why the moto 360 didn't even give, get like a preview update of no got and those two watches get probably because they have the speaker but i don't know still uh, like google has like should have given a no good update for this thing look at my little farm lady finger favorite vegetable Yo, what the fuck he just installed a petrol engine on the cycle I recently went out to my nearest dealer about to talk how like what I can get like an iPhone 6s or a Note 5 because many of you requested it but I want to make seriously make all this video so I want a 6s but he just he just had like a Vivo V5 demo yet and he just asked me do you want to review it and I like said hell yeah and he just gave me for one day this is a Vivo V5 with a 20 megapixel camera and right now it's charging and uh, with a standard my S7 charger as you can see it can easily fast charge which is a good thing with the normal normal s4 charger it won't charge which is a 2 amp charger and this is a 5 amp charger so that's the thing but it charges pretty quick and uh, this 20 megapixel camera it's not like a really 20 megapixel it lags very uh, like if you have a low quality it uh, low light it would very lag behind and looks like a cool phone but it's totally very huge it can't even fit in my pocket s7 is still has a 5.5 inch and it can easily fit in my pocket so that's a noticeable thing also this doesn't move but it has like a biometric i don't know what you say biometric but if you have sweat on your hand it can still register your fingerprint so i will be checking that in my full review in this week so guys i just finished the review of this thing vivo v5 and crap it was a very long video like 15 to 17 minutes it would take a day long to upload this thing and i'm quite in love with this thing it's very fast and fluid although it's a very sorry a slow processor my nose no, is still swelling i can't really speak uh, right now but the finger mitts kind of it just a miserable thing on this thing it's very fast and really no one has paid me to say these things but uh, it's very good i used it under very high light and the camera of the front has a really good focal point so if you like close like um, catch it over here you can really get some focal length which is a good thing you don't have to edit these pictures after all just finished the two hour long edit and the problem was uh, when i was editing in between uh, the dealer called me to, uh, because he wanted his demo unit back so i went it over there talked uh, about him stuff about the phone i really like the phone and i am thinking but there if was, there was the same version of that thing in 5 inch i would buy it for my mom because the grand prime is just messed up the middle button doesn't work and it smells really bad and it has major cracks because my mom it, like keeps it in the kitchen and it like just smashes everywhere and as you can see it's right now rendering and it was a very hard and long edit there are very small 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 bits i have cut it because to ensure the main part was in the video at least like and share this i have worked a lot So guys, I just finished my Q&A and the deal I will be talking for the 7 plus, it's been done but I am not going to confirm it until I get my iPhone 7 plus in my hand. So hopes are on, please pray for me and uh, I might be 
like ordering the phone today but i don't know whether i will get it or not because basically it's for free for me and or a great emi both can be said uh, so i'm not being greedy and basically i will be telling because many of you guys have told me to show your pc specs and what you edit on when i was kid i thought that place would be very comfortable to sit because uh, the uh, the time when i made this uh, table this cost me around very like 50 to 60 thousand cause <laughs> the design was a choice for uh, silver thingy over here and uh, basically this blue but that wouldn't work the table would be cost very high so when i went for the white and blue and looks pretty cool by my manner this has been damaged so i have to recolor this but it looks pretty cool and we have to go down over there let me fit it fuck <laughs> this is my H uh, like hdmi to which and works just perfect those you asked what that happened to your gtx 1060 as you can see this is my vga cable and that's the hdmi port so here it is here is my gtx 1060 this is a zotac 3 gig uh, this is a intel i5 4460 and overclocked it's around 3.5 gigahertz this is the best unit i got from the ivol this is a 400 power supply and basically was just perfect on my gtx 1060 Uh, as you can see i have a molex connector cause this is a very old psu and it doesn't come with a 6 uh, pin or 8 pin connector so i bought a molex so 446 pretty good this is a 500 git uh, gig c c git hard drive and this is uh, like 7200 rpm and works just good for games it's like a price of for a 3 terabyte normal hard drive cause it's uh, very like close to ssd speeds and this is a very old uh, probably 6 to 7 year old Uh, hard disk drive around 360 gigs and it's very slow it's around 3600 rpm and here is the hyperx like kingston hyperx G 8 gigs of ram both are ddr3 and the i don't even know what company is this this is a 4 gig of ram so basically they both make a 12 gigs of ram and i don't know what motherboard i have but i always go for gigabyte no msi or nothing and it's very compact and for the software i i have both of the windows 10 and 8.1 cause basically if the 10 fails i go on 8.1 and 8.1 like sure runs some old games like watch dogs 1 which doesn't work on 10 so for editing i use sony vegas pro 13 and this is genuine no crack at all as you can see there is my key it takes a time but uh, whatever graphics card i use it just crashes i don't know so i have to set it on my i5 uh, like intel hd graphics 4460 and here is my backup of my galaxy s7 cards i will be installing on the h5.2 uh, later on this video when you have asked why didn't you record much in the Uh, fair uh, all the friends who uh, like saw me in the fair they called out my name and basically there was a whole joke in the fair and um, i don't like to swing around this 60000 rupee thing in the air where all the poor children and the people are looking at me it's just very uh, sad that they can own these things and i have so i will not be taking any of my gadgets to that thing because basically i would get dropped or basically i would get a bad act so i will be taking my old fast track watch and a galaxy s4 and i will try to get some cool shots with my s4 that thing is just basically very bad in low light and i will end this vlog over here thanks for watching and thanks for supporting i'm just editing now the q and a and peace